Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of Diecast Masters Highline Series 187 or HO scale Caterpillar 320DL hydraulic excavator with attachments. The item number is 85652. The model comes protected in this white outer shipping box. Cut one end of the box open where you can see the Diecast Masters tape. Doing that will unveil a white nylon bag, which is protecting the model in a metal tin. There's a look at the model on the side of the tin. Again, HO, which is 187 scale. Picture of the model, your item number. Again, these are adult collectibles, not recommended for anyone under the minimum age of 14. Here's the top of the tin with a nice picture of the real machine at work in the fall. On the back... We can find a series of information about the real machine, including its dimensions, specification, and engine details. Finally, we see another picture of the real machine at work, and at the bottom we see each of the four extra attachments that are provided, including a cleanup bucket, which is attached to the model, grapple, hammer, and multi-processing shear. All right, let's pop the top and see what we find inside. We find a single-sided sheet of instructions. This shows you how to remove the attachments. You pull down and out, as depicted by the series of pictures, and do the same thing in reverse order for attaching the attachments. Next, we find the Diecast Masters 2022 catalog. I always encourage collectors to hang on to these so you can keep up to date with the models in your collection and perhaps some new ones you want. The top piece of black foam rubber gets removed, along with a couple black spacers. Then we can see the model inside with the attachments, which are just loose in the box. There's actually no slots for them in the black rubber, which would have made that a lot better. At any rate, we remove the 320 excavator. Next, we take out the four additional attachments. First, we have a H120S hydraulic impact hammer. It may be difficult to see this up close, but you can see the cat logo as well as the model number on it. And some warning labels on the side in yellow. Next, we have the general purpose bucket. That's the bucket that comes with five teeth. Next up, we have the sorting grapple, which again has its model designation on the side and some warning labels. This can be opened and closed, as well as rotating 360 degrees just like a real grapple would. Our final attachment is the CAT MP318 processor or shear. There's a good look at it with the details and decals on it. Again, this one also rotates 360 degrees, and then the shear does open as well as it closing. Here I'm demonstrating it spinning 360 degrees. All right, with that, your model is complete out of the box, and you're ready to display it. As you can see, I have brought the spin table out to highlight some of the decals and details. The decals are very sharp, including on the car body as well as on the boom. You can see that it is the Cat Power Stripe logo, which is not the current logo, but for the 320D series, this would have been accurate for the time that the D series was in production. Other decals include Caterpillar at the back of the cab, a black plastic grab rail on the right side of the machine, Speaking of plastic, you can see that the tracks are plastic, but at least there has been some effort to do a little bit of bolt detailing to kind of stand out and give the impression that those are individual track metal shoes. More casting details include some venting, which is painted on top, anti-slip texturing. Not a lot of hydraulic lines to showcase on this model, which again would have been so much better, but there are some that are casted in, but it would be great to see some hydraulic lines here, as well as some auxiliary lines going to power some of the attachments. If you want to take a look at the chassis of the vehicle, that's what the chassis looks like up close and personal. You can see that the tracks are held on to the body by a single Phillips screw. Let's begin our functionality overview. Here we can see the model is in a parked or posed position. You can raise the boom and move the stick out. You can also curl them back in for an appropriate transport load. For digging depth for 187 scale, it is pretty excellent. I will try to place this on my hand so you guys can get an accurate gauge of that. Again, we can move our stick back in completely. And our bucket will go back out at a very aggressive angle. 
so you should have no problem getting any material out. I mentioned before that the excavator is on plastic tracks, but they will roll decently with enough pressure applied, and you can rotate it 360 degrees. Now for our overview of the additional attachments provided. You saw the model out of the box with the smooth general purpose cleanup bucket as seen right here. I already went over the process of removing it and how you do it from this right here, which is the quick coupler. So let's focus on the hydraulic impact hammer that's on it right now. Here you can see the machine is steady enough to mimic a position or a display of doing some demolition on a building. Conversely, you can bring it in like here and perhaps chisel away at your finest furniture and desktop. For a realistic position, you can see that you can also achieve it hammering some rocks or hammering up the street. Next up is the multi-processor. You can see it will spin 360 degrees on the quick coupler as well as fully retract close, seen here, or opened all the way up as seen here. So again, if you have some rocks or other material that you want to display on your layout, this would be an excellent attachment for that purpose. Next, we have the sorting grapple. This is often used also in demolition, but more often than not in scrap and salvage yards. Just like the previous attachment, you can rotate it 360 degrees. The tongs will open and they will fully retract as well. Here's what it may look like when it is in a parked up position. Our final attachment is the general purpose bucket or the aggressive bucket, the one with the five teeth on it. The functionality is excellent on all of these attachments, but particularly on this bucket, as you can see, it close all the way up and retract all the way down. Finally, let's take a look at a couple different display possibilities you can use with this 320 excavator. First off, let's bring in a Diecast Masters dump truck. Here you can see that it is offloading some material into the back of the truck. Again, just these two models alone make an excellent display. Before you can do anything, though, you have to get your machine to the job site. So let's bring in a 187 scale low boy. Close up our model completely to mimic a transport mode with our bucket fully retract, our boom and stick down and closed up to reduce the headspace. So there you go. That's what the 320 would look like on a 187 scale low boy. In conclusion, the Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 320DL Hydraulic Excavator is a welcome addition to the HO series of models. The functionality for the most part works great. The detail is good too. Although again, I may suggest perhaps in the future for excavators adding small rubber hoses to add some detail for the hydraulic lines. But other than that, the addition of the Five total attachments make this a very appealing model and one that I would recommend adding to your collection. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.